Guys, are you starting out editing videos? Well, I can tell you it can be a bit daunting, but I'm going to show you an easy, free, yes, free and fast way that you can get started. So stick around and I'll be back in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, lots and lots of video editors out there. Some will cost you a king's ransom, while others are free. And that goes to be the same with complexity. There are a ton of tools out there that you would need to go to video school to learn, whilst others make the hard stuff really easy. And let's face it, if you're not editing movies for Hollywood, how much complex stuff do you really need? So today, guys, I wanna show you Movie Maker 5 from Minitool. Now, Movie Maker 5 really falls onto the latter category, free and easy to use. Well, okay, there are some licensed options, but for the best part, you can do a lot with this tool for free so you can get started and then as your needs determine you can add more and more to your workflow oh and by the way Minitool asked me to review this but it is my honest opinion as always so guys let's jump onto the computer and check it out so downloading was pretty straightforward hop over to the Minitool website and click download doesn't get much easier than that once downloaded and installed you launch the program and you have a wizard that will tell you what you can do so you can choose from some templates that are already done for you with tons of effects and stuff like that or you can cancel that and start from the old familiar timeline that all of these tools have now i've decided to go for the timeline as this will better enable me to show you some of those features so to load in some content, just click on the import media. I've imported some clips that I'm going to work with. You can import video, audio, and still pictures also. These will be all put in the relevant directory, so you don't need to kind of sort them out or anything like that. So that's pretty nice. Now, if I look at the videos, I can hover on any of these clips to get a preview. So that's a nice touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck these clips onto the timeline. And before we get started with the edit, a quick look around the interface and what we have. So at the top, we've got media, which is obviously where we are. and That's where all our clips are. We've got transitions. You can see on the bottom of the timeline in between each of the clips, this is where the transitions would go. Then we have like a color grade type effects. So you can add any of those to any of your clips. You've got text for titles and credits, etc., And you've got some motion tools. So you can add some movement like zoom, pan, tilt, and other elements that you can add for a bit of fun. Now, to the right of the UI, you have relevant tools depending on whether you're in video or audio. For video, you've got your contrast, saturation and brightness. You can flip and rotate clips, adjust the speed and even reverse the clips. That's quite nice. And for audio, you can easily fade in, fade out and adjust the clip volume. I mean, normally you'd have to do all this kind of stuff with like complex keyframing. But to be honest, this is really, really easy. Now, at the bottom, you've got a crop tool, you've got a speed ramp tool, you've also got the split tool, which also appears on the playhead, and you have a trash can to delete stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick edit here. I'm gonna add some color effects. I'm gonna add a couple of speed ramps. I'm gonna cut a few things up to shorten the clips. I'm gonna add a title and a credit, and boom. There you go. So guys, I'm going to export this now and see what we have. So clicking on export, you can see here that if I want to use the free version, I get my first three videos for free. And then unless I upgrade, I'm limited to two minute videos. So there you go. The other thing is, although you get three levels of quality, they're all at 1080p. So there's no 4K here. Anyway, let's get it exported and let's see what we have.
So, not bad, eh? Now, I thought I might as well show you what you can do with literally one click using the templates. So here I've imported some of the same clips. I've changed the title and the credit, and I click on go, and let's see. There you go, not bad. I mean, you know, that's one click, right? So not too bad. If you want to um, put together like a quick Instagram movie or a quick YouTube movie or something like that, you don't really need tons of complex controls, right? You just want to, speed is of the essence sometimes, especially if you've got a lot of videos that you want to get out there. You know, you don't want to get, and you don't need to get too hairy with this stuff. But if you do want to get a little bit creative, you've got the tools to do it. So guys, there you have it. This is a very easy to use tool. It enables you to do a lot right out of the box and lets you perform fairly complex tasks easily. Now, at this time guys, Movie Maker 5 is only available on Windows. So Mac users, you're out of luck for now. Now, if you want to purchase this guys, you can. And you can see from here, you've got a monthly subscription package an annual subscription package, which obviously both renew annually, or you can buy a perpetual license that doesn't renew and you're good to go. So I'll leave any product links and any discount codes in the description. Guys, if you've got any comments or questions, you know what to do. But if you like the video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Guys, thanks to you for watching and thanks to Minitool for asking me to review this rather simple but very, very powerful tool. Just the job for new starters and intermediates. Guys, I'm Dave with Scenes for a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.